Good habits, bad habits. Which ones are which? Today I'm going to share what makes a good habit, what makes a bad habit, and I'm also going to share what habits I'm currently working on. The habits that are good for you have long-term positive results. They improve your mind, your body, and your spirit. An example of a positive habit would be going to sleep at a reasonable time so you get enough rest, so you wake up happy, full of energy, and not cranky and tired. When you wake up early, you're able to tackle the day and do what you have to do and get everything done. And the result of getting lots done makes you feel really good about yourself. The habits that are bad for you make you feel bad about yourself in the long term. You have low self-esteem, you feel sluggish, and you lose motivation. An example of this is eating lots of chocolate every day. It's okay to have a little bit of chocolate every day, but a lot would give you pimples, would make you gain weight, and you'd get massive sugar highs and lows, which at the end of the day you would feel bad about. Currently, I'm working on four habits. I have downloaded an app called Habit Ball, and it's a fun way of keeping track of where I'm at with my habits. The first habit I'd like to share with you is that I exercise three times a week, and I've actually done a video on this, which I'll li is linked on that card above if you want to click on it and have a look. The second habit I'm working on is meditation and for this I use Insight Timer. I like to slow down my mind and just stop thinking about my everyday for a while just to get my body relaxed again. My favourite kind of meditations are called Yoga Nidra. The third habit I'm working on is reading at least 10 pages a day from a powerful book. I do this to feed my mind and to stretch my mind. And I like to try new things. So some of my favourite books are The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday, Getting Things Done by David Allen, and I've also read Start With Why by Simon Sinek. The fourth habit I'm working on is writing or journaling daily. In The Artist's Way by Juliet Cameron, she says that we should write three pages in the morning. They're called morning pages. I have trouble doing this because, yes, I want to write using pen and paper, but it takes a lot of energy out of me. So I've decided to cut back on one page and I do it in the afternoon after I do my work in the morning and I found this helpful anyway, even though I don't do it in the morning. And it helps me process the day to day on paper and also it, it's a creative process as well. And I guess if you wrote three pages you have to come up with stuff you relax your mind and you just write and it's amazing what comes out of your mind by doing this it is said that just stopping a bad habit doesn't work in order to stop a bad habit for example eating a block of chocolate you need to replace it with a good habit which would be something like eating a piece of fruit. I'd love to know what your habits are that are helping you out in the long term or any habits you'd like to share with us that you found really helpful. Share with us on our Facebook page. The link is in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe and tap on the bell so you get notification of the next video. The next video we're going to look at adventure, so I'll see you then, bye for now.